In German, we have a meaningful term, Weggefährte. It can be translated as companion. You may ask yourself, how do we define companions? This is a neutral term for those who have decided to work together, or to walk together, or through fate are forced to do so. This could mean reaching the highest goals or overcoming the greatest obstacles. Walking the rocky road, companions depend on each other during the journey. In the famous fable, in which a blind man carried a lame man on his shoulder and the lame man guided the blind man through uncertain terrain. The blind man trusted in his words. Companions can be compared to a team of mountain climbers who all equally pull their weight and can always depend on each other. Let's apply this to Europe and Africa. We need each other, but neither really knows the way. However, both Europeans and Africans should know that they can only be successful together. And this means changing our mindset. What do we know about the terrain in which the Africans and Europeans are now walking together? Europe provides money, or ODA, short for Official, Official Development Assistance, to Africa. We Europeans don't really know if we should pursue our geopolitical or other interests with this ODA. So we spend it on what we think is best for our African partners. Good governance, rule of law, democracy combating terrorism or extreme poverty. This is because we have a bad conscience, and rightly so. Europeans played a horrible role in various periods of African history, notably in the slave trade, as colonial powers, and during the Cold War, after the independence of African countries until 1990. Tourists from Europe see African countries that are beautiful, diverse, very interesting. Inhabitants of those countries, however, see mostly what they are lacking. In particular, since smartphones show how prosperous people live in other regions of the world. Therefore, many Africans leave their homes and start out towards Europe, the rich continent across the Mediterranean. Especially the best educated have a chance to get the support from their families or even their entire village to pay for the voyage. The financial backers hope for a return on their investment in form of remittances when the migrants have reached Europe. This brain drain is caused by the lack of basic needs, nutrition, education, healthcare, and above all, jobs. A major actor on the African continent, China, is not burdened with such a past. It doesn't grant ODA, but gets raw materials by building infrastructure with Chinese firms. Certainly, this helps Africa, but also expands China's influence, an influence which increases Africa's financial dependence from China, on China. This pressures Europe to prevent the failure of African states because of their debts to China. We can now be blackmailed. This brings us to the probable future which has already begun. It, looked like, it looks like this. Africa will become the battlefield in the geopolitical struggle between China and the USA. Europe will look on from the sidelines, and in the worst case scenario, finance a new Cold War with its apolitical development aid. 
Africa's industrialization will not happen. The mean, this means new, no new jobs, no prospects for the future, forced labor migration and brain drain. What else? The SDGs will not be reached, despite the fact that in the next 30 years, the strongest population growth will occur on the African continent. No sustainability, no progress, a lack of adequate health care, less security in Africa and Europe. Neither Europe nor Africa wants this future. At the same time, we are facing serious challenges. We are facing climate change. Europe wants to become climate neutral, but there is no credible strategy yet of how we could reach this goal in Europe on our own. And Africa faces the challenge of either growing economically in such a way that most Africans have a prosperous life, a prosperous future in Africa, or else leave the continent altogether. That means creating prospects for hundreds of millions. How can we tackle these challenges? As companions, hand in hand, on the road to change. Let us change our mindsets. Forget donors and recipients. African friends say, want to help Africa do business here. Let us make a deal to create a win-win situation for both of us. Overcome the failure of imagination mentioned by Paul Roma in his famous TED talk way back in 2009 on new cities and new rules. We are losing precious time. What is the way forward? We must be ready today to meet the immense challenges and take the risk. Here, I mean starting the journey together as companions on the road to joint success. We have to reinvent ourselves as true companions, knowing, the, knowing our history, focusing on the future, but being aware of our next steps. Combining our individual experiences and capabilities and encouraging ourselves to, to reach our common SDGs. Like the two in the fable, Africa and Europe are companions because of geography. They depend on each other and they can reach new heights and become a third global player. What does this look like in concrete terms? We will have to meet the challenges together and step up to the plate. The goals are very clear. Europe, climate neutrality in both Europe and Africa by 2050. The sustainable transformation of industry and agriculture in Europe, building a modern, sustainable industry with products adjusted to the needs of Africans. And what does this imply? Africa will secure its own energy supply and will be the provider of renewables in form of solar, wind, and hydro energy for Europe. We will commit ourselves to be companions and purchase agreements for green electricity and green hydrogen with Africa. African states can provide renewable energies in all forms in the next century, just like the Arab states have done with oil or Russia with natural gas. Africa's industrialization will begin, as in China, with special economic zones. Private capital will flow because the general conditions are right. Real deals will make long plan projects possible. People will find jobs at home and not leave the continent. There will serve, uh, those zones will serve as an industrial core like in Shenzhen in China. New cities will be founded. Economic and social innovations will be tried out. New technologies will be tested. Blockchain allows bankless money and the registration of land and people without the need 
of a central office. Africa will become the best market for carbon credits. Under these conditions, economic development happens instead of the granting of development aid. The well-being of Africa is in Europe's and Germany's interest. We must be ready to invest more in this new partnership of companions. We will thereby consciously establish a mutual dependency. In this moment, it is not a partnership of equals. It is a partnership of complements, marked by mutual respect and the common will not to fail. One in which we will learn from each other, keen on showing the world that Europe and Africa are going to create the model for sustainable prosperity in the 21st century with the largest market and customs union in the world. Know-how and technologies from Europe, social ideas and frugal innovations from Africa. Let us change our mindsets towards a new narrative, Europe and Africa, companions changing the way together towards climate neutrality. <laughs>